I'm back. Holy macaroni. So, I did vlog my outing to Bed Bath & Beyond with Megan, like I said I would. But I need to add this part before, because it's been insane. And this goes back to watching my video about what borderline personality disorder is. Yeah, I'm upset, and for a little bit, I, I didn't know how I was gonna keep going, how I was gonna keep living, how I was gonna do anything. So I got mail before walking to the bathroom young because I, I opened it. And I don't understand what it is. So I was denied my supplement for food. And all of that is because they claim I make too much money. And my thing to them is one, I don't have a minimum wage job. They don't take that in consideration, which I think they should. And I've tried to get a minimum, a minimum wage job, but there is none out there for 10 hours a week that I need. And there was a program that I tried to go through and I didn't qualify for that program because it was through PETL because I'm a social assistance client. So that's why I got the worker that I have now. She was supposed to help me find a job. And the only job that they have available for me is to clean the tables and whatnot at the mall. And that's a 20 hour a week program. And then they give you, from what I understand anyway, they give you um, your maximum allowed money. Money isn't my thing. I mean, yes, I'm missing money. But again, disability is because things in life stop you from doing everyday chores. I'm agoraphobic. I'm working on it, okay? That's why I went to a store with Megan and vlogged stuff. To practice going into a store and not dying. Because seriously, agoraphobia, you think you're going to die if you leave your house. And I can't go to the mall to even shop, even if I want to. I haven't stepped foot in the mall in I don't know how long. Because I can't. I have anxiety. I'm scared shitless. So, it's not that I'm being difficult for not wanting to accept the 20 hour position because 20 hours is too much. That's part of, you know, why full time jobs for me don't work. 20 hours of doing anything, in my case, for all the other things that are going on in my life, tire me out to the point that I get a burnout. So, you know, in both ways, it would not be good for me, but apparently I was being difficult for not wanting to take that job. But I can't. I can't, I can't go work in the mall. I can't. So I kept the job that I have at Numeris. One, I like it there. Two, I'm pretty good at my job, I, mean, I think. I don't know. And they're super, super accommodating. They go above and beyond, and I'll say it a million times. They understand that, you know, I have whatever. And, you know, they let me sit in my little corner because they know it makes me feel comfortable to sit there. And they fix my computer so that I can see it better. And those are little things that help me be able to do that. And that's great. But unfortunately, you know, well, for me, I guess, they don't pay minimum wage. So sorry, but that's not my fault. Like, but I seem to be punished for that. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't have any answers and I can't get any answers. And that's why I'm so about to... I, f I really, for a while, thought I couldn't go on. I'm not going to lie to you. I literally texted my mother, telling her that I was going to admit myself to the psych ward when I was done doing my groceries. Because I didn't know how I was going to function in life and keep going. But, you know. So, I called the MLA lady, and our first conversation was just... Probably me not explaining things correctly. And then she called me back, and then through me and her and Megan, because Megan was still with me, we finally explained the whole situation and she got it. So I now feel she said she's going to look into things and try to figure out because she agreed that, you know, what I'm asking and where I'm sitting is, you know, 
we don't get it. And my mom also is going to try and, and help out and try to get answers or definitions or whatever. So between the two of them, so thank you very much, mom, for taking time to look into this, to try to help me out. Between those two, and it all happened within half an hour, I feel now, I don't know what I feel, okay? Straight off, I'm numb. I have no clue how I feel. But I don't feel hopeless. I don't feel like I've got nothing to hold on to, like I'm falling down, you know, a bottomless pit, like Alice in Wonderland that just keeps falling. Maybe I feel like I'm caught? I don't know. But I'm at a point with, with that much help that, yes, the world won't end. I'm going to be all right. But that was a hard half an hour. It was tough. Um, but yeah, I will put the rest of the vlog at the end because I like editing. I like vlogging. It's part of my DVT skills to do something that you like that takes your mind off of what's going on. That also in my case, since I was vlogging extreme weird prices for things that you know don't necessarily have to be that price, helps me. I mean, the reason, logic, why, I don't know. I don't care. All I know is that it helps. And editing things put together helps appease my mind. I mean, I have OCD. Putting things together makes a lot of sense to me. Either way, so I'm gonna put all that together, but yeah, I, I don't understand. And for those who don't know, because I haven't necessarily made it public, they want to take away all of my extra money, all of my supplements, because my disability designation cannot go away. It will always stay with me. But all the extras I get from it, like supplements and whatnot, and they're also the ones that pay for Megan, by the way. They want to take that away from me because for two months, so the past two months, I went over my allowed budget. And me explaining to them why I did, not because I'm like working in excess and because I'm now able to make enough money to support myself. It's not that. Last month I went over because I got a bonus from work because my best friend started working with us. That's the only reason why I went over. They gave, I'll be honest, they gave me a $150 bonus for referring a friend, which they do to every single other employee. Now, it just so happened that the paycheck that it ended up being given to me on was a paycheck where I had my full hours because you only have full hours for about like six weeks at a time, twice a year, when there is work. So yes, my hours aren't guaranteed. My next paycheck, that I'm getting uh, May 5th, I think, or whatever, I don't know. I have three hours. I worked three hours in two weeks. My hours are not guaranteed. I cannot support myself off the extra money they're giving me from Numeris, even with the money they give me from welfare if I were to be given the whole thing. Anyway, not the point of my rant or saying or whatever the heck I'm doing. So the first month I went over because I got a bonus and I didn't, I'm not the one that chose on what paycheck that bonus came into and neither did work. I actually asked and they tried and they had no control over that. It just happened to fall on that one. So I went over and then this month I went over again because I had three paychecks. Now that happens twice a year because of, you know, the way that math works. I had three paychecks and one of those paychecks was a paycheck for $110. So if it was a regular month, $110, I mean, I mean, for me personally, with the help extra that I was receiving from them before that they're now taking away would have made me okay money wise because, you know, $110 won't buy everything I need for groceries and whatnot. But when I got the big paychecks, you know, I stocked up. So some things I'm good on, you know, so toilet paper, you know, Stuff like that, I'm good. So, with Megan's help, I'm losing my voice again. <clears throat> I could have been able to stretch that money and, and be okay. But, you know, it happened to be three paychecks. So, because two months in a row, for no reasons, 
that I did anything more. I didn't work in excess. I didn't do anything more than I usually do. I ended up having paychecks that were more than their allowed amount. Therefore, they now think I can support myself. I can't support myself with the money you give me to begin with. Now you want to take it away? And I can't get any answers. So yes, that's why I'm frustrated. And that's why... I don't, I don't understand, and it's like they're punishing me for having a job, that I can't live without one. I shouldn't be having one. That's the whole reason why, I don't get it, but, like I said, I'm at a point, I don't really know how I feel, because I'm kind of numb, because I just can't make heads or tails. But there are people that are helping me trying to get answers. So now that I know that I'm eventually going to get an answer, I think that's what's making me be, you know, in a place where I think I'm going to be okay. I'm at least not at a point where the world is going to end and, you know, so... My mom just texted me. She must have must be in a lunch. She won't call me. But thanks for everybody who watches this. My last video, I'm getting a lot of feedback. And yes, I purposely put this out there in public. I'm not ashamed of it. And I want to talk about, you know, what the hell mental illness things are, obviously, because... Not everybody knows what they are. They're hard to find. Information isn't readily available. And yeah, I'm going to explain my struggle, sorry, my struggles with social development or welfare, as you call it. Because it's complicated. It should not be this complicated. I'm not okay to begin with. And you're putting me through all of this turmoil? I'm lucky that I have people who know stuff to fight on my behalf to help me. What about all those people out there who can't do it? I can't even start thinking about that because I'm going to cry. But, I mean, thanks for all the feedback that everybody's getting out there. I'm, I thank that you, thank you that you think that I'm brave. I, for me, this is my life, and I think people should know about it. I shouldn't have to hide under a rock. So, yes, I, I'm going to talk about it and, I mean, share it, people. I don't care. It's public for a purpose. And, yes. Um, I don't know where else to go with that, but thank you for everybody, and I will keep talking about it, and I will keep giving out the information, and because I think it needs to be said, I, a lot of people might not know this, I'm lost, I don't know how to deal with this, and I've got a pretty good grip on understanding on what it is, and I still don't know how to do, so with that, I'm going to jump into my adventures with Megan as a vlog and um, I'll keep you updated on, on, on what's going on but yeah some people care out there and um, the MLA I'll name her Sherry Wilson the second call that we had was very good she was very understanding super nice and I really think that she's I know She's going to give 100% to try to get answers and make this right for me. Um, there is bureaucratic tape every time that comes into play. So, you know, sometimes the rules happen and we can't do anything about the rules. But she's definitely going to look into them. So thank you very much for that. And everybody else, thanks. I think I'm going to be all right. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna make it because I decided I was going to. Cool stuff at Bed Bath and Beyond. Look, the Honest Company. This is great. By the way, this is Jessica Alba's company. That's why she doesn't make movies anymore. She's a mama and a wife, and she does this stuff, and it's 50% off. So, anybody interested? These are great stuff. So these things are super cool they do really clean and take stuff off that burnt on whatever but you can get them in the dollar store for like way cheaper but they work i've seen on tv people all right so it's 4.69 for a magic glass drying towel 
streak free and lint free. Now, as long as my glasses are clean, I kind of don't care if they have streaks or, or what air dry them. They won't have any lint. I guess, I don't know. All right, $69 and, okay, $70 and $80 for a toaster. Pretty sure like 12 bucks at Walmart does the same thing. But I'm not a chef, I guess. I don't know. So I found a few of these makeup organizers. They're kind of scattered around everywhere. This one here, $22 for this. That is pretty much the top part of what I had. This is the top part that I have, the exact same top part that I have with two drawers, $30. And then if I wanna buy just two drawers and there's a bunch of stairs in my way so I gotta stretch, it's 50. I paid 39 online for the whole thing. No taxes, no nothing, no delivery. Yep. Whatever. So my point is, is that this is what I got on eBay. And yeah, I'm shaking because I'm upset. Um, all of these parts, so it's three different parts. This is one part. This part is another part. And then this top part is another part. All three of them, like I said, were $39.99. No shipping, no taxes, no nothing. That's exactly what I paid. Now, you just saw the prices of them if I were to buy them in store. So, yeah, I research things before I buy them. And still, I'm allowed to have things. Like, I don't get it. But, whatever. Oh, yeah, and this mirror. The mirror part will come later. Um, it was 12 bucks and it's made of bamboo. I can see myself just as well as those other ones later. The bananas. And uh, those rings are all fake. They're all from eBay for like two bucks. And yeah, I hold all of my naked brushes that I all got from eBay and whatnot, except for the expensive ones that were all gifts. And um, that's a plastic cup. Oh yeah, shot glasses hold my makeup sponges up. But um, it's lentils in there because I can't afford to have the fancy little teeny mini rocks. And that is a $1 glass from the dollar store with glitter on it. And you know, that cup there, that's what I mix my things together. Beauty gurus have this fancy schmancy mixing plate. The top of my cup works fine. It was free from my closet. And my watch? Okay, fine. I have a watch. I bought it eight years ago. Apparently they're holding that over my head. And that box was a gift from my aunt. I'm just so frustrated with what they want in this world. I mean, I don't get it. But that was 40 bucks. Great deal. So these are my total things. I love this for my house. It's a light up thing. I don't know. I'm weird like that. It's on sale for $22. I don't have $22 to spend, but if I did, I would. I love it. So these are on sale from $50 to $30 for freaking pillowcases. $30 for a pillowcase? I can get a whole bedding set for that price. What? Alright, so we all know these are a trend. And we all know I have one in my house. They're $30 here. I got mine for a dollar. They go, Megan's changing the colors. I got mine for a dollar off a of Wish. But it was just the cover. And then I bought the inside pillow for four bucks. So it cost me five bucks. And these are 30 um, sometimes you just gotta look around. I don't know. So, yep, I have one. See? Same thing. Not the price they have there. Just when I thought the world couldn't be more surprising, it's originally $230. And 
and I've looked around. I cannot tell what they're made of, only that they're gold covered. We don't need gold covered. What? I mean, I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. It's my picture, my banner picture on my YouTube. My grandmother got me a spoon with my name on it as a joke. But $230 for forks and knives? Really? That's my groceries for a month and a half. So apparently we're like supposed to shave our faces now as women to get rid of like peach fuzz. Perfect. You know what? I don't care. It can be there. I don't, I don't care. These are all these things. Oh, magnetic lashes. We all know those don't work. I bought some. They, they, they are backwards. But like, can we just be ourselves and stop following beauty trends? Miracle teeth whitener. Yeah. Apparently these are actually really good though. Erase your face white things. I have a coworker that asked for them. I'm not gonna name her, but I know she's watching, so. It's a bunch of them, girl. Bed, bath, and beyond. And then on this side, more things. Oh, video about blackhead removal. Heidi Klum Intimates. So, things to hold your bras up. That's actually a pretty good idea. And that's a good idea. To hold the back of your gla- your, not your glasses, your earrings on. That's a good idea. As well. Um, somehow huge nail clipper. Exfoliating your face in it. That's actually a cute idea. But, um, you can get it on Wish and whatnot for like a buck. And then... Mirrors. Wait till I show you the other mirrors. They're like a few hundred bucks. Crazy. So there's a bunch of mirrors again. That this one is ninety dollars. I mean, it has a light in it. That's great. Um, these ones here sync up to your your iPhone. I mean, that's amazing. Sure, but this is the one I was talking about. Two hundred and sixty-nine. So two hundred and seventy dollars. Does it do anything special other than having a light and being a mirror? No. See, these are the specifications for it. Um, okay. For 270 bucks? It better make me look like some fancy person in movies. I can't remember their names because I don't pay attention to movie stars. But I better look like one of them. Just by sitting in front of it, you know? I should just like, bam, transform me. But no. Alright, so this is my alley. One, because it's on clearance, and two, shiny! I love this! But it is 12 bucks. And as much as I love it, I have a garbage can. I have two, one in my bedroom, one in my bathroom. And I bought them for two bucks at Dollarama. And guess what, they do the exact same job. Uh, down here, again, these are gorgeous. I love these colors and this jar is again beautiful at prices that you know are ridiculously well for me are ridiculously high I mean I'm all over functionality but so these are the regular priced garbage cans so yep this one I love it it's great it's totally me that it's 50 or 39, 40, I don't know. For that price, my garbage better take itself out. Now these things are actually really cute ideas, but for $18.99, again, Amazon, eBay, whatever, two bucks, people, no shipping. You just gotta wait a couple of weeks. Wait a couple of weeks and save yourself 15 bucks. Okay, so totally cool thing. They look like socks, but they actually have a sole on them. They're like socks that you can wear outside. That is awesome. And they're 30 bucks though, but you know, whatever. And um, these boards, I mean, I don't know if they work or not, but um, you can um, get them again at the dollar store for a couple bucks. 
But if you buy them here, you get a $10 gift card. Maybe you can spend it on these things. I don't know. So I did the whole store thing. And then my feet are soaked. So when you don't pay attention to where you're going because you're frustrated and your mind's somewhere else, you walk in big puddles. So I got mail before I left. I don't understand what it means. I'm trying to get answers again. I think they took my disability away from me because two months I went over my money. I, I don't know. Either way, I know that I was refused from my dietary supplement because I make too much income, but I already can't pay the bills. And then I got other letters that contradict, I don't know. And nobody can give me answers because I, I ask questions and stuff. So, um, and following with like, you know, BPD and trying to stay calm and skills. <clears throat> I'm trying to, but it's beyond rough to the point that I'm no longer paying attention to things that are around me. Thank God Megan's here because I do need some groceries and we're going to get stuff. And that's why she's a huge help because she's going to look out for stuff. And if I walk by something that I need, she'll notice and remind me and all that stuff. So, um, because yes, by the way, having the disability thing from welfare doesn't mean that you cannot work. I mean, it also happens that you can't work from it, but it actually just means that you can't because a doctor has you know signed the papers and said stuff that you can't do everyday things because of the conditions that you have and everyday things for me like going to do my groceries are not something I can do without help but now they're saying because I make m too much money because I got a bonus for my friend working the first month and the second month I had three paychecks I'm somehow able to do this I'm confused and upset, but we're going to keep going.